My name is Dennis. We're uh, going to be going over the report of the refrigeration cycle. I'm the group reporter. Uh, the group leader was Andreas, and the group members are Noah and Chandler. Uh, so we're going to be going over the theory, the apparatus, experimental data, and then the comparison between the group leaders and my uh, data. So here we have uh, the refrigeration cycle. Uh, so it starts off putting in work into the mechanical compressor. And then here uh, from uh, stage one at the bottom right, it'll go from one to two in compression. Uh, that means that the pressure and then the enthalpy will go up. And then next it'll go into the condenser uh, from two to three. Uh, and then it'll uh, saturate the liquids. And then afterwards it will uh, expand the liquid and then evaporate the liquid. Right. Here, uh, the coefficient of performance, uh, it's basically the ratio of heat and air cooling from the work energy required, right? And uh, for this report, we're using the cooling part of it uh, in terms of the temperature. So we have the cold temperature at the top and then the temperature difference of the hot and the cold. Uh, here's the apparatus. It's, uh, it's basically, uh, what's it called? The same as the, the diagram from before, but flip, it, that's the condenser, that's the evaporator. But here, the AVEX-1, it's basically a pressure controller uh, that uh, uh, controls the flow of high pressure fluid, and then it basically uh, releases and expands the fluid into a low pressure environment. Here we have uh, the experimental data, and then we're, uh, here we have 400 watts, and then uh, our high temperature is at 28, and then the low temperature at 24 and we put it at five liters per minute. We're putting in five liters of water per minute into the system. And then here, in ideal cases, uh, in this ideal case, uh, I found that the uh, coefficient of uh, performance to be six, but getting into the uh, real coefficient of performance I found the mass flow rate of uh, that, and then the specific heat of water and the temperature difference. And then I found that that was a 3.34, uh, what was it? Yeah, it was 3.34, basically. Um, but, uh, so here we have uh, our data from basically uh, putting it at different uh, flow values from 6, 4.5, and 3. Uh, there was very little uh, changes to this. Uh, we saw that the cooling tip uh, of the outlet of the compressor uh, it went up a little bit, but not that much. Uh, this barely changed. This was the only vowel, uh, value that changed. And then uh, the cooling temp of the outlet expansion valve. I don't know why it went up on the, on the third uh, set of data. And uh, here, uh, this is basically uh, what happened. Like I drew arrows showing the refrigeration cycle on the R134A uh, graph, and each uh, 
state here is represented by these colored arrows here. And then you'll be able to find the enthalpy, which I didn't put on here, and the specific volume. And then uh, based on the results from the group leader, uh, he found that the refrigeration coefficient of performance was 3.67, and then we found it on this uh, experiment to be 3.34. So it's basically a 10% error, which shows that, uh, that the system was not perfectly efficient. Uh, that's it. Any questions?